Welcome to Sal's Classic Bodybuilding Archives. In today's episode, we're going back to November 1980, Muscle and Fitness Magazine. Shoulders like a Greek god's Arnold's deltoid routine. Enjoy. Muscles are simple. They contract in only one direction. So, when you want movement in several directions, you need several different muscles. Or, you need a complex muscle group. And that's exactly what the deltoids are. In order to cope with the complex movement of the shoulder joint, the deltoids consist of three basic heads. The technical names for these parts of the muscle group are the anterior, medial, and posterior deltoid, or more commonly, the front, side, and rear. There is no one exercise that will work all three areas of the deltoids. Some work two, but not all three. Therefore, when you're planning your shoulder routine, you have to include the right variety of movements so that you get full shoulder development. Many people don't realize that the shoulders are tremendously important in hitting back shots. Take the rear double biceps pose, for example. What is it you show in that pose? Look carefully and you'll see that the deltoid development merges into the trapezius development and the traps dominate the whole upper center of the back. You need good lats and a good lower back, but you won't be able to impress the judges with your back poses until you have also fully developed the deltoids and the trapezius muscles. You've got to have it all. Having just part of it won't make the grade. The two basic exercises for the deltoids are various kinds of shoulder presses and a number of different lateral raises. Arnold also uses another variation of the dumbbell press that he calls the Arnold press. In this movement, he begins by holding the dumbbells as he would at the top of a dumbbell curl. Then he presses them upward, rotating his thumbs inward. This gives him an exercise that's part a press and part lateral, and which works both the anterior and the medial deltoid heads. Laterals are great because, depending on what plane you continue the movement to, you can work any part of the deltoids you wish. Dumbbell front laterals work the front, side laterals the side, and bent over laterals the rear. Arnold also does a movement called lying side laterals, in which he lies on his side on an abdominal board and raises a dumbbell from this position. He may not have invented this exercise, but when he first came to California, you suddenly saw a lot of people who never performed this movement before doing lying side laterals. Cable exercises add even more variety to your shoulder workouts. One arm side cable laterals give you a constant tension throughout the movement. You can have the cable cross in front of you or behind you, and each approach has a different feel. In fact, there are numerous kinds of shoulder lifts you can do to increase the effect of your shoulder workout. For trap work, Arnold relies on four basic exercises. Power pulls, cleans, upright rows, and shoulder shrugs. Cleaning a weight involves a good, satisfying effort of coordination, but you shouldn't start out with too heavy a weight. For power pulls, you can go for more weight because you are essentially doing cleans 
but not letting the weight get above your chest or below your waist. When you do upright rows, I think it's important to keep the movement smooth and slow. Don't go jerking the weight up or letting it drop. And with shrugs, an awful lot of bodybuilders use too much weight so that they don't lift the shoulders as high as possible. Arnold likes to train delts and arms together, working the delts first. I know there's a lot of talk about needing only five sets per body part. Still, I just don't see how you can train your entire shoulder area with just five sets. If you consider that the deltoids are really three muscles and the traps are about as complex, you're really training six different body parts and six multiplied by five equals 30 sets. One form of exercise Arnold uses is among the simplest but most overlooked, posing. Posing is exercise. You're contracting the muscles to their maximum. I always flex and pose the muscles I'm exercising. I think that's had a lot to do with my success in bodybuilding. Arnold also realizes that the same kind of routine which is right for him might not be the best for everyone. A beginner, for example, should not try to equal the amount of energy Arnold puts into his training. I'd like to see a beginner take his time building up his strength and stamina. For example, one way to really get the delts to respond is to work with lighter weights and do more reps per set. Pump the blood through those muscles and get them to come alive. And don't try to do too many different kinds of exercises in one workout. Doing an overhead press, standing laterals, bent over laterals, upright rows and shrugs is plenty. And when you're going for growth, don't hurry to get into supersetting. You grow more just doing straight sets. Working to perfect your shoulder workouts can make the difference between a so-so or a first-rate physique. Look at how we think of shoulders. You shoulder a burden. Someone has the world on his shoulders. You put your shoulder on the wheel. This tradition has stayed alive since the ancient Greeks for a reason. Powerful shoulders are fundamental to a powerful physique. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And until the next video, keep training and chasing the dream.